What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to be reviewing and explaining the importance of a variable ND filter. Nice leather pouch, a little pull tab so you can get this out easily. It's very beefy, very sturdy. Go from dark and with this tab, slide it, slide it, slide it, and it gets lighter. And also another great reason why you should have a filter on a nice lens like this is you don't want to scratch the end of your glass. I'd way rather scratch a $150 filter than my $3,000 lens. ND2 all the way to 400. There's nice tabs so we can keep track of how dark everything is going to be. So these are the exact same settings that I was using inside. And all I'm simply going to do with this ND filter is rotate it and keep rotating it. And it's going to get darker and darker and darker. Another good thing about having this is the blurry effect and the bokeh from having the low F2. This is my first try with this filter and I'm already loving it. It looks really good. Oh, look at that little dog right there. Her body's even out of focus too, which is the benefit for having this ND filter. So I've got to give this a 10 out of 10 already. It was 160 bucks. Um, there's more expensive and more cheap ones. I think this is right in the middle of the road. Go get yourself one. It's going to protect your lens, give you more cinematic quality, and overall, up your game. Deuces.